The Natty one himself, Nicky Rod, was back on the mats at UFC Fight Pass Invitational 5 last weekend against Yuri Samoyce, looking to prove himself as being in the top couple of grapplers in the world and against a guy like Yuri who won ADCC last time out uh, at Absolute. Obviously, a great way to do it. Gordon Ryan was on commentary, so we knew it was going to get a little bit spicy. Straight off the bat, Yuri actually seemed to have the upper hand on the feet, which I didn't expect. Nicky obviously has a wrestling background, excellent takedowns, but Yuri had him pulling guard which gave him a negative point. The stalling calls from the referee this whole night were pretty crazy. Everyone was getting negative points. Yuri picks up the single here, goes high with it, and Nikki counters with a nice little roll, and they end up getting reset back on the feet, but Nikki hitting a lovely level change ankle pick, some Yol Romero stuff, just excellent. From there, Nikki looked to get the body lock working. We know that that's his thing. He's released enough instruction was on it. The way that he uses different grips and things like that is excellent. And he looked to get it going against the butterfly guard of Yuri Samois early and pretty much straight away does get the elbow pinch in and managed to get past the guard with a lovely pass into side control. Yuri turns to half give up his back and this was most of the battle with Nikki using lots of different grips, lots of different setups, going from the seat belt, the Dagestani handcuff, and trying to get to the back of Yuri Samoyce. This was a lot of the fight. Yuri did a really good job most of the time defending, but did give up the mount more than once. Here we see Nikki getting to the mount, starting to give another crack at taking the back, gets the little claw S grip there to try and put hooks in, only ever gets one in, and Yuri does a really good job of getting back out to open guard. From here, Nikki starts using some athleticism, not relying on that body lock stuff. Gets to the front head here, threatens the Dars to get back into half and starts using the body lock again to try and clear the leg. He extends out to clear the half guard and steps around back into mount again. Keeping it a little bit versatile with those grips, going for the S originally and switching off to seat belts and Dagestani handcuffs. From here, gets into quarter mount and starts threatening with an arm triangle grip just to get the pass, which he do eventually does. None of this is for points, of course, because it's in the first uh, section of time, but Nikki very much dominating at this point, and Yuri just basically fighting to survive, which he is doing a pretty good job of considering how dominant Nikki is being. Yuri is surviving. Uh, Nikki passes to mount here and uses the gift wrap to try and hump for the back, but just then, that is when time runs out. So that minus one point for Nikki is the only thing counting so far as we head into overtime, which is crazy to think about because pretty much the entire time Nikki just dominated. But straight off from the overtime, we had a lot more aggressive wrestling coming from Nikki and Yuri again doing his best just to stay on the feet. Yuri having to back up a lot here ends up conceding a negative point. So now we're level and the way we actually end up hitting the mat isn't from a Nikki rod shot, it's actually from a counter shot from Yuri who ends up in the single leg position. But Nikki does a really good job of clearing his knee ending up in front head and hitting a lovely go behind. Lovely wrestling, Yuri ends up grabbing a quarter mount and holding onto it for dear life, which gets him another negative one for stalling. And this is where Nikki starts hitting some nastiness, legal nastiness from wrestling. Lots of grinding into the face, ouch. Looks like he's trying to wipe his nose, give him a little COVID test there. Lovely Dagestani handcuff, some more seatbelt stuff, threatening the choke. Yuri doing a very good job of defending, but just getting ground on. He was complaining about uh, B cream. Uh, he was complaining that Nikki was greasing, but I think it was just a sweat. Once again, Nikki hits a lovely body lock. He's a sweaty large man, but that pass to mount does actually give him the first points he scores, plus four for Nikki. So now he is up. And he's looking for the back. He takes the gift wrap. Yuri does a really good job of ex escaping, but Nikki nearly hits a Kimura trap or a rear triangle or something like that, but we end up straight back out, and that is when time ran out. So Nikki Rod sheds the top. He knows what the boys like to see, and he does win this one by three to minus two. I think he dominated against a guy as good and absolute as Yuri Samoyce, and he calls out Gordon Ryan, who left the commentary booth instantly to go and corner Nicholas Mergali in the final. But he calls him out for 50k versus 50k, 100k bet matchup, which is kind of the kind of thing that Gordon likes to do. Obviously, Nikki really wants to do a drug tested match against Gordon because last UFC Fight Pass, Gordon basically admitted uh, that he uses steroids and claims that it's not illegal, which. Uh, yeah, there's a whole lot of drama around that stuff, but Nikki puts up 50k, wants Gordon to put up 50k, and he isn't mentioning drug testing, so maybe we see that, maybe we don't. I do think that Nikki Rod has had an amazing couple of years when you consider what he's done uh, in five years total of training in jiu-jitsu. It's pretty incredible. What do you guys think? Is Nikki getting better? Does he have a chance of taking the crown 
away from Gordon. If you like the video, make sure you like it, subscribe, do all that lovely stuff. You can hit join down below to support the channel or head over to Patreon where you can do the same thing and I will shout you out at the end of the videos just like this. Thank you to Matt Weeman, Eaton, Stu Mitchell, my coach and uh, Cops Club. Appreciate you guys very, very much. I'm heading off to Iceland for Christmas. I'm dropping into Mjolnir MMA in Reykjavik. So if you're there, hit me up and we will roll. Uh, but yeah, you might not hear from me until after New Year. So have a lovely holiday, guys. See you later.